off-road vehicles Vizda Hoda in Russia is a very popular event. Why? Firstly, a huge part of the territory of Russia is deprived of high-quality roads, and communication between a very large number of its settlements is carried out only by helicopters and off-road vehicles. Secondly, in Russia there is a huge number of hunting and fishing enthusiasts who prefer to hunt and fish in places inaccessible to conventional transport. Therefore, off-road vehicles with very high cross-country ability are very popular in Russia. Therefore, the annual Vizda Hodor exhibition, which took place in December 2022, is also popular. I will tell you about several new and interesting exhibits of it in this video. With the advent of sharp off-road vehicles in Russia, a new class of super passable to axle wheeled off-road vehicles has appeared. Real snow and swamp vehicles that are controlled by breaking the wheels on one or the other side of the hull, like a caterpillar tractor or tank. This is called a skid steer pattern. Such off-road vehicles are characterized by huge wheels with wide tires and pressure adjustment in them. The use of such tires provides very low ground pressure, if the pressure is reduced the tire contact patch with the surface becomes almost like that of tracked all-terrain vehicles. This allows you to move even in a swamp or deep snow. Another feature of such off-road vehicles is the extremely short wheelbase, which is why the entrance to the passenger compartment is carried out not as usual from the side of the body, but from the front or rear. Torque is transmitted to the wheels by means of a chain drive. The light and sealed body and huge air-filled wheels that act as floats give such off-road vehicles good buoyancy. They move through the water due to the rotation of the wheels, but many owners install a boat motor in the back doorway. As a rule, the curb weight of such off-road vehicles is about one and a half tons, and the carrying capacity is about one ton. In Russia, the number of manufacturers of all-terrain vehicles of this type is increasing every year. Here, for example, is the Con all-terrain vehicle made according to the scheme described above, and here is its competitor Traker. Let's pay attention to the tire tread of the Traker, they act as a paddle wheel when moving through water. The entrance is in front of the cab, and the door opens down, acting as a ladder. For the purpose of access in salon the windscreen rises up. Interestingly, many of these all-terrain vehicles have additional fuel tanks built into the wheel discs. Another all-terrain vehicle with a skid is called the Tourist and is produced by the Lesnik company from Volodya. At the exhibition, this company showed a modification for use in the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations. Let's take a look inside the Tourist. Through the cargo compartment which is adapted for the transport of both goods and people. As you can see, the interior is very utilitarian. However, not all customers like the utilitarian style. Here, for example, is another representative of such off-road vehicles. It's called Big Bo. This is a classic analog of the Sherpa. A mid-engine layout, an onboard steering scheme, frontal access to the cab, large ultra-low pressure tires with a pumping system. But, unlike many competitors, an automatic transmission is already included in the basic package. The 128 horsepower Big Bo diesel engine and automatic transmission are borrowed from the Hyundai Accent passenger car. The body is made of aluminum and plastic, it has not one, but two rows of seats deployed in the direction of travel. By the way, the interior trim is chic like an expensive limousine. Meanwhile, the Russian Sharp off-road vehicles, which have become famous all over the world, have recently been renamed. Now they are called Arkant. At the end of 2022, the company introduced the so-called budget model to the market, the price of which was reduced by about half compared to the model previously mastered in production. One of the distinguishing features of the novelty is the bonnet layout, which made it possible to move the engine from the wheelbase to the front of the body, freeing up additional space in the cabin. The engine of the new Arkhunt is a two-cylinder one, like in other models of the company, but now it can be not only diesel, but also gasoline. Another feature of the novelty is the use of a variator in the transmission, while the previously produced Arkhunt all-terrain vehicles used only a manual gearbox. The reduction in cost is provided, among other things, by the use of a chain drive without an oil bath and the possibility of ordering modifications not only with a hard top, but also with a soft top. That is, with an awning. Not all sharp like Russian to axle off-road vehicles really look like it. Many designers are not satisfied with the onboard turning scheme and use other schemes. Here, for example, is the all-terrain vehicle Bearshotten. 
Yes, it can turn by breaking the wheels of one side, for this it has levers in the cockpit. But there is also a steering wheel in the cockpit, because in most cases this off-road vehicle changes direction by folding the two halves of the frame. Because the bare Schotten has an articulated design, which not only improves handling, but also increases cross-country ability. With an overall length of 3.8 meters, the dry weight of the bare Schotten is 1,850 kilograms, and the carrying capacity is exactly a ton. The all-terrain vehicle floats and, according to the assurances of the developers, is able to get out of the water onto the ice, and this is a very rare, and therefore a valuable quality. Body structure. Steel frame with fiberglass shell. The engine compartment is equipped with a Kubota diesel engine with a working volume of 1.5 liters and a maximum power of 44 horsepower. Four additional tanks of 61 liters each can be built into the wheel rims. The Sever Tourist off-road vehicle produced in Krasnoyarsk is also two-axle and also on ultra-low pressure tires, but its chassis and transmission differ little from those of ordinary cars. That is, here is the classic steering, classic axles and classic suspension, dependent spring, providing increased speed when driving on dirt roads. This all-terrain vehicle, impressive in its size, has a frame structure, both axles are borrowed from the GOS 66 off-road truck, and the three-stage transfer cases from the Japanese. Japanese Toyota Land Cruiser 80 Suf. 180 horsepower or 120 horsepower Cummins diesel. The exhibition sample is equipped with an automatic transmission, but a manual transmission is also possible. The body can carry 1,100 kilograms of cargo or 11 people. Another two-axle wheeled all-terrain vehicle with an automobile-type chassis was developed and produced in Novosibirsk by the Vizdahad 54 company. It's called Titan. This all-terrain vehicle is smaller and lighter than the Sever, so the bridges for it were taken from the UAS light off-road vehicle. But the engine with a working volume of 1.8 liters and a four-band automatic carry the Toyota brand. Suspension, spring. The steering is not quite the usual design, hydrostatic. Applied mechanisms for blocking cross-axle differentials with electric drive. The all-terrain vehicle is offered both with an open and with a closed body type. For this all-terrain vehicle called Xenia, capable of overcoming snow and swamps, a three-door body and a 1.7-liter gasoline engine were taken from the famous Russian Suvneva legend. But that's where the similarity with the stock car ends. The developers used final drives of their own production and hydrostatic steering. Xenia can swim, and on land it can accelerate to 100 km per hour. True, in order not to lose comfort, the developers recommend not to accelerate over 70 km per hour. Another class of off-road vehicles is being actively formed in Russia. They are similar to classic ATVs, but noticeably larger and heavier. In recent years, the number of such monster ATVs has been actively growing in Russia, as the number of companies producing them is growing. Such a giant ATV is usually equipped with an engine and axles from an SUV. It weighs more than a ton and is able to carry not two, but three or more people, and even tow a heavy trailer. Here is one of the largest overgrown ATVs. It is called Enwix and is produced in Nizhny Novgorod. The carrying capacity of this giant ATV with bridges from the UAS SUV is one ton, and it weighs 1.3 tons. Enwix can swim, is designed for five and can be equipped with an awning. It is driven by a Toyota engine with a working volume of 1.5 liters paired with an AI's in automatic transmission. Another overgrown ATV Sokol Pro is being made in Novosibirsk. Surely, many have seen how ordinary ATVs are equipped with snow plows, but the size of the Sokol Pro made it possible to turn it even into a loader. Sokol Pro is equipped with a 1.5 liter engine from Toyota Corolla paired with an automatic transmission. The axles have built-in pneumatic mechanisms for blocking cross-axle differentials. And here is one of the exotic exhibits of the exhibition. This unusual vehicle with wide profile tires resembling a three-wheeled motorcycle is called the Zubra and is produced near Moscow. The Zubra is equipped with an engine not from a motorcycle, but from a generator. So far, the transmission of torque from the engine is carried out only on the rear wheels. This limits flotation in deep snow as the front wheel falls through and digs into it, slowing down. Therefore, the next version of the Zubra will be all-wheel drive. An electric motor is going to be built into the front wheel disc. Here is another exotic exhibit. 
This is not a new model, the all-terrain vehicle is built in 2012, but still remains among the most popular exhibits at any off-road show, still, because it is a cross between an all-terrain vehicle and a prestigious limousine. The developers took a frame with axles from a Gauss 66 off-road truck and installed a Mercedes-Benz W140 sedan body on it, and put a Mercedes-Benz S500 engine paired with an automatic transmission in the engine compartment. Power steering, Bosch, brake calipers, Porsche Cayenne, additional radiator with two fans, Chevrolet Neva. Impressive car. This sub looks plain, but beauty is not the main thing for him. Because this is not so much an off-road vehicle as an all-terrain mobile platform called BMP, invented by an engineer from one of the companies involved in the supply of automotive components to Russia. This platform is a utility all-wheel drive off-road chassis that is designed to mount various modules. For this, a large flat area has been made behind the cab. The weight of such modules, and it can be an onboard platform or a van in a variety of configurations, is up to one and a half tons. The all-terrain mobile platform is based on the chassis of a serial Russian US sub, from which the frame and bridges are borrowed for it. But the engine with a capacity of 85 horsepower, a manual gearbox and a transfer case are Korean made. The engine is simple, unpretentious and with a minimum of electronics. The massive pipe coming out of the hood and leaving the cab is a snorkel. The windshield folds forward. On request, it is possible to manufacture VMR using the Russian aggregate base and oversized wide profile tires. One of the most unusual exhibits at the All-Terrain Vehicle 2022 exhibition. The Vostok Ecological All-Terrain Vehicle developed in Nizhny Novgorod. Ecological, because it has an electric motor. More precisely, two engines with a total power of 160 kW. One between the front wheels, the second, between the rear wheels. The energy intensity of the batteries is 24 kWh, which provides a power reserve of 100 km on a single charge. An impressive ground clearance of 450 mm was achieved through the use of onboard wheel reduction gears. Suspension Vostok, pneumatic 4 link. The body is made of aluminum, its two side doors are made sliding. In front of the driver, as it should be with a modern electric car, there is a digital dashboard. At the Vizdhoder 2022 exhibition, the Dozer Tactics produced in the city of Rabinsk became the only tracked off-road vehicle. The compact model, which is less than 3 meters long, is powered by a Chinese launch in two-cylinder gasoline engine with a capacity of 33 horsepower. A variator is installed in tandem with it. Interestingly, the developers opted for a hydraulic transmission with separate hydraulic motors for each track. Bulgarian hydraulic motors and hydraulic distributors, Italian hydraulic pumps. The curb weight of the all-terrain vehicle is 960 kilograms, and the carrying capacity reaches 2 tons, and another 3 tons can be towed on a trailer. The steel body can accommodate up to 8 people. And here is the largest all-terrain vehicle in display at the exhibition. This is the Rusik K8, produced in the city of Bogorodsk, with an overall length of almost 8 meters and a gross weight of 9 tons. This is not an experimental model. Rusik is mass-produced in 6x6 and 8x8 versions. Technically, this is a very interesting all-terrain vehicle. Floating, with four drive axles, fully independent suspension, planetary wheel reduction gears and forced locking of interwheel and center differentials. Today, the Rusik developers have begun to create its fuel cell modification. A few months ago, I myself personally tested Rusik all-terrain vehicles in both winter and summer conditions, so I will talk about them in more detail in subsequent videos.